All right, well done, you're here again. Um, simultaneous equations, uh, two equations, we're going to solve them at the same time, and we have to use the substitution method. I'm going a little bit quicker now because I have given you many examples. I have, I have um, made a tutorial video where I explain in more detail all the individual steps. So make sure you have seen those before you go um, uh, to this question. I've done this question already in the previous video and I've used the substitution method. I made y the subject, substituted that information in the other equation and I found my x and then I found my y. Anyway, have a look at the previous video. Now I'm going to do it slightly different. Because I see a 5x here and I see a 5x there. Well, those x's are the same. Those y's are the same as well, by the way. That makes 5x the same as 5x. Okay. Now, if I would make 5x the subject, 29 minus y, and I do the same for the other one, 5x the subject equals 11 plus y. So, this is the first equation, 5x is 29 minus y, 5x 11 plus y. Then I can make the conclusion that 29 minus y has to be the same as 11 plus y. Now, I've given you an example of that before, I'm going to do it again because I love examples, yeah, because I really want to understand. Uh, for instance, uh, what can we say, well, 8 is... 6 plus 2, yeah, that's one equation, and 8 is also 24 divided by 3. Yeah. Now, these 8s are the same. Does that mean that 6 plus 2, is that the same as 24 divided by 3? So, is that this side the same as that side? 6 plus 2 is 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Yes, it is. Okay, so the same thing is happening here. 5x equals 29 minus y. 5x also equals 11 plus y. Then I can make that conclusion that 29 minus y has to be equal to 11 plus y. Okay, I'm going to continue now. I'm going to do it relatively quickly. So uh, I'm going to write down 29 minus 11 equals y plus y. I'm rearranging the formula. 2y equals, what is that? 29 minus 11. That is 18. So y equals 9. Am I finished there now? No, because I want to find out x as well. 5x plus y equals 29. I'm going to pick one of the equations. I'll just pick the top one. 5x plus y equals 29. I say y is 9. So 5x plus 9 equals 29. So 5x equals 29 minus 9. So 5x equals 20. You see, it doesn't take a lot of time to write down your workings in. You really are not saving time when you're skipping that. I want to have said that. Okay. So x equals 20 divided by 5. x equals 4. Okay, let me put the y value there as well. y equals 9 x equals 4 and y equals 9. Okay, then I could check that uh, to find out whether that is true or not, but I have already done that in the previous video. I just want to show you that one uh, where I have done the same question, that's the same question, but then I really follow, let's say, uh, yeah, the proper uh, substitution um, roots and uh, method where I made y the subject and I substituted that in the other equation and I've uh, done all the other steps, eh? look at my previous video. But now I've shown you, because I see a 5x and a 5x there, I basically made 5x a subject in both equations. Then I said, well, um, that one has to be the same as that one. Then I solved it as well. Okay, that was it for me. I hope that was useful. Now it's your turn. Leave me a message if you still have a problem or a question and I will help you. All the best.